Good morning. I'm glad you're here. Uh, overall, we're really happy with uh, the progress we've made from spring. I think uh, uh, in the practices that we've had, we went uh, to yesterday, uh, really good effort and really good uh, competition, which is what we're striving for um, at every position, but also offense versus defense, the kicking game versus the kicking game, all those things. Uh, uh, we've come out and competed hard. Now, we, we are not uh, as far as being a good football team yet, uh, but uh, the way they've come to work every day and what they've done, I think the identity of this team is still one that we're uh, developing and trying to develop. Um, uh, I think the team has vested themselves um, in a lot of ways in each other in what we're trying to get done. Um, this next week is a grind and should be because uh, you got some uh, double day practices in there. Uh, we'll we'll uh, scrimmage uh, uh, sometime during that time, during that week, trying to get uh, reps, trying to see what matches we like as an offense and defense, really looking in the uh, situational football standpoint of it. Uh, how we uh, uh, match up and how we will match up during the course of the year. But uh, um, excited about where we're at, knowing that we've got a lot of hard work that we've got to uh, put into it, uh, staff-wise, player-wise, trainer-wise, manager-wise, everybody that's involved. So uh, from that standpoint, there's a lot of positives. Uh, from the standpoint of uh, uh, where we want to be, we're not near that yet. Thank you. You guys have questions? Remember, we have a coach right here. Can you talk about anything about anything in particular, any injuries that are? You know, there's some guys who uh, are, are beat up a little bit. Uh, Delante Hollowell, he's got a um, uh, cast on his hand. Uh, as far as anything real major, besides uh, um, a couple guys we held out, uh, Andre Pipkins and two a day days, we try and uh, not uh, uh, overwork him. You know, uh, we're doing a lot with some of the GPS tracking that we're into, and uh, I think. Uh, uh, you know, the first time around doing all that stuff, you're, you're trying to get some baselines and some data and all that thing, and I think that's helping us in how we go out to practice. One last question is, uh, what can you tell me about uh, your your thought process through the, the, the kicking game this year, the special teams in particular, yeah. I guess, because you're going to be seeing a few new faces in, in, in the whole lot. Uh, in, in general. Right. So what can you tell me, you know, from long snapper to holder to... Yeah, uh, you know, Matt Weil, you know, has uh, done a nice job uh, in his career so far with uh, the, the, the kicking part of it. Uh, Will Hagrup, it's great to have Will back. Uh, you know, he's had a good camp so far, punting. Uh, uh, Kenny Allen is a young man who's walked on here who works really hard and is uh, developing in a little bit of the kickoffs, and also he's, he's a, a very good punter. Uh, snapper, Scott Simpson. Nuski uh, and uh, Danny Leesman are two guys that are really competing there. Scott, we brought in a year ago. We are able to redshirt him, uh, but losing Jared Blanda, uh, you know, uh, that, that's a big loss. But Scott's done a nice job uh, in that part of it. Uh, when you look at uh, the, the return game, uh, there's a lot of different guys, you know, uh, that we're looking at. North Fleet has really taken most of them, uh, but uh, a guy like Freddie Canteen, a guy like Jabril Pepper. Some of those guys have a skill set that uh, we think is pretty good. And the other part of that, having Drake Johnson back is a real plus. Hey, Coach, I'm just curious to know how is the development of your uh, you know, wide receiver going and the transition into a new offensive system? Uh, I think the young wide receivers, you know, I think they're, they're uh, learning every day. I think the way they've come out and worked, uh, I think the pressure and the stress that we put on them uh, and how we practice, you know, as a whole team. But for those guys, when you're talking about formationally getting lined up in the different personnel groups, uh, you know, and if you, uh, depending on what the quarterbacks.
sees and what he's pointing and all that. I think they're learning a lot there. I, I think, you know, if you, with Devin and, and uh, J.U., uh, Amara coming back uh, is a real plus for us. He's had a good camp so far. Again, it's not like we're in three weeks of it, but he's, he's done a nice job. Freddie Canteen, um, I think uh, all those guys, Bo Deaver, uh, Demario Jones, all of them have improved. So from that standpoint, and they fit what we're doing, we've recruited them to fit what we want to do offensively. Coach, is there any <coughs> changes to uh, personnel or scheme in this year's secondary? And is it up to Jake Ryan to lead the uh, defense on the field. I, you know, I, I think that's one side of the ball. You know, we have more seniors and a lot of guys who have played a lot and a lot of guys with experience. So, uh, from that standpoint, uh, I wouldn't put it all on Jake. Uh, you know, Frank Clark's played a lot of football. Brennan Byers played a lot of football. Uh, Ray Taylor and Blake Cowness, uh, Jared Wilson, they played a lot of football. So, uh, from that standpoint, and, and uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be a little more aggressive. We think. Uh, uh, the development of the corners and the depth at the corners have allowed us to be a little more physical. Coach, are you, are you seeing the uh, type of senior leadership in the United States? I think the guys have done a nice job. I, you know, I don't have any complaints, uh, believe me. What I tell you, maybe, maybe not, but I really don't. Coach, the uh, coaching uh, shuffling that you did on your staff and the, the new offense, its impact on Devin Gardner, and what have you seen Gardner's response with him? What, what theoretically will it make him better at? Well, number one, I, th I think. Um when you talk about the shuffling, uh, um, from a defensive perspective, I think it's been tremendous for us. I think um, the two coaches in the secondary and, and just in meetings and everything that you can get accomplished have been really good. Greg at the uh, middle of the defense, I think, has been really good. And Mark with the defensive line. So I think that's all been positive. Uh, I think, obviously, uh, Doug coming in has been a, a real positive. I think it's uh, been a little little bit of a clean slate for Devin to some degree, but at the same time, uh, I think they have a tremendous relationship. Um, the depth that we have, we don't. it's not a backup who's a true freshman. It's a backup now who's played one full game and um, has really done a nice job when you look at Shane as far as uh, the incremental leaps that he's made. So I, I think overall, all those things have been real positive. Just about what do you want to see Gardner do? I think the, a couple things are, are um, you know, realizing that fourth down, sometimes punting the football is not a bad thing. You know, uh, um, he's a guy who's very athletic, as you all uh, hope know. Uh, he's a guy who's uh, very uh, uh tough and I think the other part of it you know he, he's got to learn that uh, he, he doesn't have to do it by himself Chris coach can you talk about the cornerback from competition who's kind of he's got first snaps there and how the guys behind him are playing as well well you know I think the way we've rotated you know they're all getting a lot of snaps number one uh, uh, Jordan Lewis uh, and, and uh, Ray Taylor and Countess um Probably right now would be the three uh, top guys. I think uh, Stribling's come along. Uh, um, you know, he, uh, he's got to keep improving. I think that's been, that's been good for us. Uh, uh, Delonte Hollowell, in, in some cases, you know, and uh, there were flashes last year with Delonte, and the consistency I think we're seeing more of. A couple questions, <coughs> What has Darbo specifically shown you that? He's back up to speed physically, and what can he contribute to you? Well, I think he gives us another guy as a receiver who's got some game experience. I think, uh, you know, when you look at his uh, genetics and his uh, uh, size and is uh, able to uh, – um, really challenge a defense vertically and then the strength on the line of scrimmage that he possesses. I think all those things and, and as far as what he's shown us, he's shown us in spring that he's got that kind of ability. The other thing is a guy like Wilton Spade, I know he's competing. At what point would you decide, okay, he could help us this year or He'd be better off here. Uh, probably a couple more weeks, to be honest with you. You know, the first two guys are getting a lot of snaps. 
uh, Wilton and, and Russell are kind of uh, sharing some reps with the threes. But, uh, you know, one of those guys, you know, will travel, one of them won't. <coughs> Excuse have me. Been any players or player or players who have really surprised you? You know, I think uh, from from the perspective, Eric Magnuson, maybe not a surprise, but how, um, you know, he, he's done a good job. I think Ben Braden, uh, you know, he's a very good athlete, hasn't played a lot, obviously, played some, but uh, when fundamentally you see him, um, Jack Miller has done a, a nice job, you know, in there at center. Uh, and then uh, guys who have been uh, surprising, I, I think uh, – um, the way uh, um, Joe Bolden has kept playing, I think that's a real plus uh, in, in what he's done up front defensively. Uh, you know, a guy like Brian Monet, uh, and, and really happy too with where Andre's at coming back because he didn't do any contact in, in the spring, but uh, where, where, where he's back. Coach, going back to uh, offense real quick, with the, given the changes on offense, how confident are you that the defense is going to be able to support them and kind of do the learning curve? Well, hopefully uh, we support each other, you know, in all three phases. Uh, um, are, are there growing pains and do our offenses usually behind a defense? Yeah, they usually are. And especially when we have so many older guys on defense. And so uh, that's a big part of it is uh, defensively uh, us playing uh, to our, our ability every time we take the field. Brady, could you talk about the offensive line? When are you going to settle maybe on a starting rotation? And yeah. How long would it take that offensive line to develop to get the running back? Well, uh, I think there's a couple things in there. Uh, number one, I think uh, sometime next week, middle of the week, end of the week, we'll uh, settle in a little more with uh, what we want to look at, what we want to do as far as the top five guys. I think Daryl and, and Doug have done a nice job of rotating the guys in who uh, we think really um, have an opportunity to be in that first group. Um, I think uh, uh, I think we think as, as we go through, through it and the uh, improvements they made from uh, uh, the spring and what they did through the summer, you can they're taking that to the field. So that's been a real positive force. Um, I think in the running game, you know, there, there's some things that uh, we we all feel that uh, are important, and that's the, the uh, uh, what the running backs see and what they're doing. I think Drake, uh, Derek, and Devion uh, have really. At this point in camp, uh, I think they've all the three done a nice job, um, you know, with uh, run reads and those kind of things. Uh, so I'm excited about that, what they've shown so far. Be a running back by I know, we'll find out. You know, I, I don't know. I think uh, uh, we've done it here before and it's been pretty good. Uh, but I, I wouldn't say that's what we're looking at doing today. We want to find the best guy and the most consistent guy first and I think we're, we're we're going through that but they're all getting a lot of reps the other part of it is I think with our receivers uh, and how they're adding in in the running game uh, to different fronts and different things that uh, the quarterbacks may be adjusting to or checking to and I think that's real positive in what way do you think you've evolved as a coach here and just kind of the best you can or want to take us in your mind going into the season in terms of your emotions and expectations. Well, the expectations never change, as you know, Larry. I mean, that doesn't happen. I mean, I think uh, if you lower the bar ever, I think you're making a mistake. Uh, um, I don't know how to answer the other part of that. I think like everyone else, we learn every day from uh, things we may be able to do better and the consistency. Demonte Thomas, what's a guy like Demonte have to do to, to really kind of slow down? Well, he's just got to keep working. He's had a good uh, fall camp so far. You know, I think him uh, and Jeremy Clark both have really had a, uh, a good fall camp. You know, Jared, obviously. And what we've asked of DeMonte and uh, Jeremy to do is be a little more take command out there. You know, so there'll be days when, um, you know, I'll tell him I want you to make all the checks because Jared makes them all the time. 
you know, and Jared, you know, he may uh, break his helmet or something and not be out there. So they've got to, and they're doing a better job taking that responsibility. Follow up, Jared. Can you talk about the He's had a really good camp. I think uh, he's uh, worked awfully hard uh, during the summer. He's really uh, embraced the, uh, the leadership back there, you know, because that's the guy who's got to do the, ma the majority of the communicating. And so uh, I think he's had a good camp to this point. How legitimate the chances Mason <coughs> have of seeing snaps for I think he has a lot of. A very legitimate chance. I think uh, um, if you'd ask uh, our coaches, I think we all felt that way. Uh, he's kind of a, um, a little different as a freshman, um, and I, I attribute that to uh, his high school coach and the program that he was in at East Lake. But he uh, he really has has done a nice job. He comes every day, uh, works hard. He's physically better now than he was in the spring. Uh, is he still 18 years old? I think so, you know. So, but uh, he's done a nice job. Go ahead, right. Back in the Ready, are there any true freshmen pushing for playing time? Well, I think uh, Mason Cole is one of those guys. Uh, I think Freddie Canteen. I think on uh, defense, Jabril. I think Monet um, is another guy who um, ha has the ability. Brian does as a nose tackle. Um, so the true freshmen, I think those guys would be the guys that uh, – and I think there will be one or two others, you know. Uh, really impressed with Ian Bunting, you know, and he got here in June. You know, as, as a tight end, and uh, uh, some of the things that he can do. How much different does Eric Green go? Yeah, he looks a lot different. You know, I think a year ago he looked more like me. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't know why you laughed, but uh, but uh, he's really worked hard. He's really, uh, through the nutrition with Joe Totoro, our nutritionist, uh, through what he's done in the weight room, uh, you know, from a physical standpoint, he's really done a nice job of getting his body, um, being a little more intelligent in what he feeds the engine because that's a big part of it. So he looks a lot different. What do you know now about Peppers that you didn't before you, you know, had him out? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think uh, obviously we think he's a pretty good football player. We wouldn't have uh, recruited him. Uh, but uh, Jabril's got a lot of uh, athleticism. Um, he loves to play. I mean, he absolutely loves to compete and play. And so uh, uh, there's an element that uh, you love about that because of uh, how he goes about it every day. All right, back here. I know you're going to say there's urgency and pressure every year, but going into the fourth year of your program with the way the record has gone, do you really need to find to see more of what you're building here? Do you, are you anxious to see more from what your program I think you always are. You know, well, Joe, I think there was a lot of uh, um, depth issues that we've had. Uh, and that's not an excuse because there are no excuses. Number one, we got to do a better job at what we're doing. But I, I really look at how those guys have come and the, the younger guys, how they've practiced, uh, how they've led. You know, if you're good enough, you're old enough to lead. You know, and, and so that's been exciting. Yes. Yeah, you know, I want it to be a football team that can run the football and, and uh, have a toughness at the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. Uh, we want to be high when we look at the execution of everything that we do. You know, and that means if uh, uh, your back pedal is supposed to be this, then execute it the way you're supposed to execute it every time. Uh, I think the identity part of it uh, is a toughness that I think this program has had uh, for many years. And so uh, that's part of uh, what from I'm looking for. And believe me, it's been verbalized enough to, to the players. And I think what I have heard, seen of this team, 
during uh, since uh, the bowl game. That part of it, I think they're improving on. Why is it been so hard? Uh, you know, I wish I had the answer. If I had the answer, you know, we, we would have been in a little better shape, I think, uh, a year ago. You know, but uh, I think the consistency that guys are, see, are seeing and demanding from each other daily, I'm, I'm excited about that. Right, we've got time for just a few more guys. Adam, go ahead. Oh, um, can you talk a little bit about Devion Smith and that uh, second part of that? Talk about the development of the linebackers, correct? Get uh, sound line, sound body, correct? It's not really excited about the linebackers. Well, you know, again, uh, I think the development of Davion has been really, really good. I think uh, he's got competition there. And uh, the one thing I know about Davion, he's probably as tough of a guy as I've been around. His identity is toughness. Uh, and uh, the way he practices, uh, uh, he's a guy that can get dinged up, but he's still going to go, and he's going to go, and he's going to go. As far as the linebackers, uh, again, I'll refer back to the great competition there is. Every one of them, though, uh, you know, they got to have uh, a good day or they're not going to be out there. And uh, it doesn't matter who it is. And that's. I'm sorry? Well, you know, I think Joe, like I said, Joe's played well. I think Jake's did some really good things. I think. Uh, um, uh, D D Desmond, Morgan, uh, uh, Mike McCray's a better player, you know, a year older. So, and then uh, James Ross and uh, Royce, I mean, they're fighting to play. So, uh, it's a good thing. Is Jack Miller's emergency center allowed to do different things with Grant? And will that still be the case after? Right, right. Well, you know, we, we've got, uh, I think Jack's just, uh, um, as far as what he's done, uh, I think his uh, um, consistency has been really good. You know, as far as uh, uh, after the first game, what happens with Graham, what happens with that position, uh, we've, we've done both, have Graham in there with the ones once in a while, have Graham at uh, right guard once in a while. So I think there's a, a lot of flexibility there, but we're going to, you know, by that time we'll have settled to who, who we need to have on the field. And where's Pat Cooler? Coog's fighting. Coog's doing a nice job. Coach, can you uh, touch on the two new uh, entries into the, the Big Ten, uh, the competition that you're going to have with them this year, Maryland? What's that mean to the program? What's that mean to you in, in the planning and preparation now that you're in camp? Well, you know, uh, as far as uh, – We've broken down every opponent, and we do that in the summer. And, uh, you know, we, we've uh, looked at a lot of tape on everybody. We've uh, um, done all the, the preseason studies that you can uh, when you look at, you know, their depth, who they have, and all those things. Style of defense, is it an odd man, is it an even man? Style of offense, you know, uh, who the playmakers are. Uh, as far as those two programs, uh, uh, we welcome them. We're excited about them being here. Um, going to Rutgers, I think, will we'll be uh, a neat experience for our team. Um, but they're only neat if you win. Okay? And then, uh, you know, we got to watch a lot of Maryland last year when we were getting ready for Connecticut. Uh, and they've shown some things on defense, and then their skill level uh, at the receivers is pretty strong. All right, we'll go to Nick for the last question. Brady, uh, over here, I got two actually. That's right. um, you mentioned the running backs a lot. Maybe it's by committee, maybe it's not. You have a leader right now. I would say right now it would be uh, Drake Johnson and Davion. You know, yeah, yeah, and, and so you got a one, one A, and then you got uh, a two with uh, Derek. And offensive line wise, I know you've rotated quite a bit. Are they are they showing the progress you want them to make? Are they, are they you know, is the, are the TFL still there or are they fixing the issue? No, I think uh, from that standpoint, you know, we had a couple, we, we did a couple drills last night that were really. Um, pretty live stuff and uh, we had two TFLs and both of them were because the line call uh, you know the defense stemmed and they didn't they didn't change the block all right thank you all right thanks for everyone you whenever